almost two years ago, I developed GTA in Scratch. Now, it was a pretty tough thing to do. I mean, it took me about two months to actually develop this. There was only one problem. It was GTA Chinatown. It wasn't GTA 5. And, I, you know, I was going to, you know, just chill out and, you know, leave it as is. But then someone in the comments asked for a part two. So, I had about two options to go with for a part two. I could have expanded upon GTA Chinatown and, you know, continue making it cool or make a brand new 3D version of GTA. I'm gonna do that because Rockstar is taking too long with GTA 6. So let's get started. So now if you know anything about Scratch, you know it's not a 3D engine. It's a 2D engine. So that means I'm actually gonna have to create a 3D engine from Scratch, literally. But yeah, you're gonna watch this video and find out how I did that. So the first thing I did is I opened up Scratch and then I realized I had to actually create a 3D engine which is like kind of hard and I don't know how to do that off the top of my head. So I searched up a little tutorial right here and that's where I started developing the actual 3D engine part of the game. So it starts off with this first person um, view and you can look around and everything move around and things grow and things you know shrink when you go forward or backwards from things. So these things that are shrinking or, or growing are just some random objects. So the next thing I'm actually gonna have to do is create some buildings. So I replaced these objects with buildings and now this looks a little bit better. So typically GTA isn't played in first person mode. I mean, some people do, weird people, but you know, typically people played um, with the characters, you're able to actually see the characters. So what I did was I searched up online for some GTA characters and the best looking one was Trevor. And this guy looks exactly how Trevor looks like in the game. So I downloaded this and I put it into this app called Mixamo. And Mixamo allows you to like animate everything. So now I had some walk animations, some shooting animations, running, jumping, and death. And I didn't even have to do any animation. So I mean, that's perfect for me. And then I put it into Blender. Now Blender is what allows me to create like, you know, actually render the, the different animations. So I rendered the animations. And now we literally have Trevor in Scratch. So now we have this character that, you know, can you know look cool but I need to do some programming in order to make it work so that's what I did next I did some nerd programming and now we have this Trevor guy walking around looking all cool and sexy so now I'm not gonna lie if we walk around and we look at these different buildings and we actually look at how like the buildings um, operate like we can look around but like you can't see the coins it still looks like you're still looking at the front of the of the um, building so I'm like I right, this probably isn't gonna work out so I came up with this plan that kind of hurts a bit of the 3d-ness of the game but I mean it still makes it 3d we're just gonna be moving forward and, and backwards and we're gonna not have the capabilities of looking around because that's probably gonna take me a very much longer time this game took me three months to develop so I don't need this extra parts and not actually three months I, I broke down a lot of the stuff but anyways that's what's up but anyways GTA. What does GTA stand for? Grand Theft Auto. And I mean, the Grand Theft Auto means stealing, big stealing cars, in other words. So, what am I trying to allude to? We're missing cars in the game. So, the first thing I need to do was add a road. So, I added a road by basically putting this road image in the middle of the screen and then we have these white lines that are supposed to be like the separators uh, I, I forgot what they're called but like yeah they separate you know what i'm saying and now we can like drive but we don't have cars so we need cars so yeah uh i don't know how to make car so for me to for me to get car well i'm gonna do something crazy i'm gonna basically steal them from the internet so i got cars from the internet you know one two three four five cars put them into blender rendered them and now wait, 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 wait. they're in the game but let me do a little bit of uh, nerd programming again and and we got cars driving front and behind and you know everything so yeah we got cars driving in the road so yeah so i know i said cars are the most important part of the of the game but I mean, if we play GTA, you don't play GTA to drive cars. If you want to do that, you can play Need for Speed. <laughs> Link to that up there if you want to see me create Need for Speed in Scratch. But 
you play GTA to shoot guns. So, I mean, if you want to shoot guns, you need guns. So, so I mean, I just went online and um, I like did the same thing I did as before and stole guns from the internet. And then I, the animation part here was a bit more tricky, but like, I kind of like put the guns on the guy's hand and like tracked it so that you know the recoil boom 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 you know what i'm saying and then i added those i rendered the animations again basically taking pictures of every single frame so that they can be animated in scratch did that and now we got this shooting and stuff which is pretty cool so now we can shoot with the pistol shoot with the ar and assault rifle and then we can also shoot with the rocket launcher but now these just shoot this is just an animation but i wanted if you shoot enough times these cars should explode. So, I mean, so if I just do a little bit more coding, now this actually explodes. So we have a whole exploding animation that explodes the cars if they're shot enough times. So now I also want the player to know what gun they're shooting. So I added a user interface at the top right of the of the screen, as you can see. And now you can see what guns we're shooting at the, at the moment. So now we have we, we've taken a lot of the boxes of our GTA. We have the the guns, the cars, the, the person, the buildings. Now we're just needing, I mean, shooting cars is fun and all, but I think I want to shoot. <laughs> I mean, shooting cars is fun and all, but I kind of think I want to shoot some other stuff. Got an idea of what that's going to be? Yep, we got people on the screen and we're going to shoot. So now you can shoot these people, but there's no consequences. You know, you're just shooting them, boom, 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 boom. You're shooting the cars, boom, 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 but nothing is happening. So... The perfect solution to this problem, what we as a society came up with, is the police. So, you don't get the police scared the people about it. You know, I don't like, I don't like it. I don't like Trevor shooting people. It's not, it's not all right. It's not all right. Like, we're gonna fix this. The police are gonna come. So, I got a police from the internet as well, and I threw him into the game, and I did some coding. And now, if you do anything bad, you're gonna get stars. You see these stars? Yup, we get stars <laughs> like you're in space, and then we make sure that the police gets you. So, yeah, that's basically it. I mean, I mean, and also as you can see here, if your health goes to zero, you die. We finally put this animation to use, and you know. And that right there is how I made a 3D GTA clone in Scratch. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe if you want to see any more videos in the future. And yeah, we're going to keep doing things like this. So yeah, you're going to see this video in a bit, in a bit time. You're going to see another video for real. So I'm going to catch you guys. Peace. Bye.